All right, guys, how's it going? Right, this video is about Gwilym Balaguer, right? He's had something to say about Alonso today, and I think it's very important. Serious biz. Right, I think it's very important. Now, Gwilym Balaguer is a journalist. Uh, I don't usually mention him when I say, like, oh, listen to Ornstein, listen to Joyce, and sometimes, you know, listen to Fabrizio Romano when it comes to player transfers. The only reason I don't mention Balaguer is because normally we don't have that really Spanish connection anymore. Obviously, back during the Rafa days, and when we had all them Spanish players, we, I listened to everything he said. Um, but one thing I will say to you about Guillaume Balaguer, I absolutely love Guillaume Balaguer. I think he's a top man, to be honest with you. I think he's a nice man as well. However, I live in Spain, all right? So I see a lot of things over here. I've got a lot of Spanish friends. I, I do read Spanish publications. I try to. I'm not fluent in Spanish, but I do understand. Uh, I see more, like, I follow Spanish accounts. So sometimes, I, you know, it'll, I'll open a link and use Google Translate. Uh, or my, it's my Spanish friends that know about my association with Liverpool. They tell me about things and stuff like that, right? So I've got, like, I get to see some things, I guess, that most people in the UK don't. What, and I know you can go online and read, read these things that people are saying from the Spanish media and do your own Google Translates and shit like that. But I just feel that being here, I do get a different feel for some things that might just flash up on TV that might not be shown in England. Um, and sometimes things are, you know, can be translated wrong as well especially with Google Translate. And I will go to a Spanish friend and I will say, can you tell me what that is? But th this is from years ago, right? Because we haven't had that, been in that situation with all those players anymore. So I just wanted to tell you about Balaguer. Uh, he can, for example, um, or what, what I've seen him do before when it's been matters concerning Liverpool Football Club and play, Spanish players, right? Is he said one thing in Spain, right? And then said something completely different in the UK on the same day, Right? As if to say the right thing, you know, to the Liverpool fans and the right thing to Real Madrid fans, for it, for example, if it's to do with the player link between those clubs or something like that. Which is always bear that in mind with Balaguer. He definitely is tailored to his audience. I'm not saying he's misleading. I like him. We listen to him. We listen to him when it comes to Alonso, right? Because he's close to Alonso, right? First to give interviews to and stuff like that. Uh, and we're going to look at what um, Balaguer's had to say today. But what I will say to you is that... You have to uh, differentiate when someone's saying something between opinion and fact or statement, right? So um, I have been told, right? I, you know, if Balaguer says, I have been told that this, right? That's him making a statement. That's him presenting a claim, right? Is very different to, I think that Alonso will go to Bayern Munich because think is an opinion, Right? So sometimes we just quickly go over this. Someone came in a stream the other week and we had the same conversation about Balaguer. He'd made some claims about Alonso and someone came on the stream and said, Dunk, have you said that, have you seen, sorry, Alonso said, Balaguer said, you wonder why I go, for, why I forget things. Balaguer said, Alonso's doing this. And I went, are you sure he said that? He went, yeah, it's in a YouTube video. So I watched the entire YouTube video, which was basically Alonso walking around, uh, you know, the streets, uh, you know, with a, with a mobile phone recording a video, and he categorically in that video said, "I think, I feel. Why would you know? Why would he do that? Why would he do this?" It was all opinion, and I pointed this out. Did a video about it on here, and the guy that came on the stream said to me, "I'm sorry, Doug. That's just what I thought." You know, he, he wasn't. You know, he wasn't deliberately misleading me. So sometimes you're just going to make sure if someone says to you, "Have you seen Balaguer says Alonso is definitely off to there?" Just go, oh, "All right, where did he say that, mate?" Always, always have a look for yourself. Right, don't trust any. It's not because they're going to lie to you. Uh, th these fuckers will. Uh, but uh, sometimes people just honestly hear things and, and not sure. And, and I like to just check everything for you. Right. So when Alonso speaks, we're going to read what he's got to say now. I've already told you that. Is he saying opinion or is he stating facts? That's what we're going to look at in this. Right. So this was speaking today, I believe. And this is what he said. Uh, Xabi Alonso is determined to choose his future in the next three to four weeks. Nothing is decided yet, nothing at all. Very emphatic. Not I feel, not I think. That's what he, how he feels. That's how Alonso feels. Take that as factual, in my opinion, because he's saying words like determined, his future. Next three to four weeks. He's giving a timeline, right? He's giving a timeline. He's not leaving it open, you know, like, you know, he might sign for us or he might make a decision. No, he's saying next three or four weeks. So let's start the fucking clock then, right? So in April, as some people might say, well, that's hardly surprising, but the guy is giving you it, right? No, no, no disclaimer in that, right? Nothing, nothing is decided yet. Nothing at all. He can't be any more emphatic, right? 
First, four big games ahead to be played. And then he says in brackets, Hoffenheim in the league, semis of the cup against Dusseldorf, Union Berlin in the league, and then quarters of the EL versus West Ham. Then, the idea is to take the decision about his future after those results. That's the idea, right? That to me, says Alonso said to me, and then, then I'm gonna, you know, what I'm going to do is, right, okay. The pros and cons of every team that is interested in him have been considered. Alonso has considered those teams. And he will take the next step that, in, in, in quotes, right, he feels, he feels, he's emphasising that Alonso feels is the right one for Alonso, right? A mixture of intuition, logic and consideration of family. And he then lists the different options that are available to Alonso, which we all know about. But let's see what he's got to say, because, well, I'm assuming this isn't his opinion. Let's see if he's really relaying what Alonso has said to him. Leverkusen. Why stay when you have maximised the potential? But their confidence in him has a weight, right? We know Leverkusen are going to try him, and, and I'm worried about that. I'm worried about Leverkusen having that sit down with him. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, they're going to try and they could guilt him in and say, you know, we put you here, we did this. These clubs wouldn't be interested in you if it weren't for us. And he's got a great relationship with them. The fans love them, which is why I don't think he'd go to, to Bayern Munich myself. Right, anyway, Liverpool, hard to follow up Klopp, but the squad is strong. Although, can Liverpool step up from where they are now? Can they get better from where they are now? That draws in the questions of, well, they can with further investment and improvements. Is that a little bit of, you know, like, would, would the owners, uh, do the owners want them to be better? I'm not being naughty by suggesting that. That's me just putting that in there myself as to, like, you know, if you were to say, can Liverpool step up from where they are now? How do they? All right, well, you're losing the manager, so obviously that's going to be very fucking difficult. But can they step up? Could that team now, for example, if Jurgen Klopp had stayed on, could they get better? You know, yeah, with further investment. Do we have those kind of owners? You know what I mean? So... I think it's a very, just a good point there. I don't know. Anyway, Bayern, perfect move as the team has dropped a level or two. But how can you go from being a Bayern Leverkusen legend to go to Bayern? And how can you fight for the league with the team you are moving to? So I will tell you this. From watching uh, Guillaume Balaguer's long video before, a few weeks back, he his opinions, it seemed like, like, it felt like uh, that Balaguer not necessarily wanted Alonso to go to Bayern, but he felt like it would have been the best thing for him. You know, he was trying to imply in that video, if I remember rightly, oh, Liverpool would be a big job, but, you know, there won't be as much pressure at Bayern. I don't believe that for one fucking minute, right? Because Bayern's got a rebuild, apparently. I don't know. I don't follow German football, but I think it would be difficult. Liverpool fans are very patient. Fucking hell, he's, he's idolised. People love him, right? He could go to shit for years. He would get more chances in time at Liverpool than anywhere, I think, to be honest with you. But what I'm trying to say there is Balaguer is always, well, not always, that would be wrong. I could be saying something that is not true there, and I don't like to do that. Uh, it is, um, in, his, in his previous video, that's all I can say, he was very much along the line of, well, I think he would go to Bayern. I think Bayern would be the best move for him. Bayern would be better than Liverpool. That's what Balaguer was saying, all right? So let's just repeat this again, because that means there is a little bit of thinking in his head, bias thinking maybe. Bayern, perfect move as the team has dropped a level or two. Therefore, they can go back up, right? But how can you go from being a Bayer Leverkusen legend to go to Bayern? And how can you fight for the league with the team you are moving to? Right, the next one, Real Madrid. An important one. One that many Liverpool fans maybe think, oh, you know, we don't want him for a couple of years and he fucks off, right? So let's see what he says about this. Real Madrid. If City knock out Madrid in the Champions League and they lose a couple of games in the league, Ancelotti might not continue. I've seen some people come to me today, had people come to me today saying... Dunk, have you heard this? That Ancelotti might leave Real Madrid. And I'm like, what the fuck? What? Right? Now you know why. That's where it comes from, right? From these comments. You know what I mean? Ancelotti might not continue, but too many ifs, as they are clear favourites to win the Liga at least. Okay? So, continuing back to his words, what a position to be in when he's only 42 and will have the chance to manage those teams in different times during his coaching career. Will he really get another chance to manage Liverpool again? I'm not quite sure it works like that. I mean, yeah, if, you know, if you're a good manager and and whatnot. But people, I, you know, I, listen, do you remember when I went to Boston, when I went undercover? Do you remember when I was fucking secretly filming inside, um, that doesn't sound right, does it? Uh, in uh, in the chauffeurs, the, you know, the, the company, the chauffeur company that, that ferry FSG around, yeah? Do you remember the driver? Well, do you remember what he said 
about John Henry, he went, he's ruthless. Do you remember how he said it like, he's ruthless in that Boston he's ruthless. John Henry's fucking ruthless, right? And I don't think you turn John Henry down twice. That's just my opinion. But he don't make all the decisions, but I'll be the same. Do you know what I mean? If I ask a bird out on Saturday, right, guys? And she says, no, you're all right, thanks. Uh, I'm off out with Mark. I say, all right, is that right, yeah? And then it don't work out with Mark. And then later on, she goes, hey, do you, do you want to go out with me? I'll be like, no, you can fucking know. Even if I want to bang the arse off it, guys, she, she had a chance. That's what I'm saying. I should be a chairman. Right. <clears throat> it is just a matter of choosing the right time for all of them, right? Listen. That, I think that's the nearest you've got to Alonso's way of thinking. And I would monitor uh, Balaguer with this. I do, I do. I believe everything he's saying, yeah? Um, I really do. I do, guys. Um, and, and, and to be honest with you, I haven't really mentioned him in my videos when I've always mentioned the other two journalists and Fabrizio, but that's because, you know, I don't know. I just, he doesn't, I don't know. But he's mentioned something today, so... We now know, don't we? Can't remember every fucking thing. Do you know what I mean? Whenever he speaks, I obviously analyse it. We've done that previously. We did it in a video the other week, if you remember. Maybe a month ago. Can't remember when it was. I don't fucking know. I'm too tired. Right. But I, I do think we should follow him and see what he's going to say. Um, and I'm going to go and think about this now. What do you think about um, Balaguer? I've told you how his reporting style is. He'll say one thing in England, one thing in Spain. And I'll also tell you there's a difference between making an opinion I feel he should go to Bayern versus he will go to Bayern. What he's stating there, the majority of that is what I feel, facts. Rafa facts. Do you remember that? Rafa facts. Fucking Miss Rafa, me, man. Fucking, what a guy. Nothing is decided yet. Nothing at all. Next three, four weeks, Alonso wants to make a decision. Well, that's very nice. And I'm sure Liverpool uh, appreciate that. However, to think that Liverpool... I'm not considering the likes of Amarim, you know, maybe Nagelsmann, although Nagelsmann's hinted that he might stay with his current situation. Whether you like FSG or not, they are shrewd operators. They know what's fucking going on. And I think we can say that Edwards ain't fucking thing. I mean, Edwards really, man, he's a fucking genius to get that job, in here. I mean, he's, he's convinced everyone he's fucking great. There's no doubt about that, right? See, me, I'd, I'd have stuck with Boy George, me. I'd have kept him. They kept, he was a great sporting director. He could just trigger a contract but release clause like that. Fucking great, man. Saved us millions. There you go. Right, I think we're done. I think we're done. I'll be in here for another hour at least. My fucking dinner's not even on yet. Right. <clears throat> I think that's it. If you appreciate the video, please thumbs up the video. If you've got anything to say, please leave a comment. Uh, and if you're in a position to do so and you'd like to get me a, a coffee uh, or a beer to sit the super thanks button, read the video description, please. Join up for the newsletter. Follow me on social media. Um, become a Cop Talk VIP member. That's the best way of supporting me. Like, that's fucking family there. It's family, you know what I'm saying? Um, definitely. Mm. So, yeah, you can see why I had to come down and make these three videos. I think it was three, wasn't it? Right. Uh, tomorrow, I, uh, I oh, yeah, I will be here tomorrow as normal, all being well. Um, three o'clock UK, I plan to, to host a live stream. Uh, I will have a, um, I, I do plan on a video for the channel members and channel subscribe uh, channel members, channel supporters, sorry, tomorrow, uh, because it's not a video that I can read, uh, analyze, talk about, discuss, openly and there's a reason for that it's nothing uh you know it's not a ploy to get you to be to be to, to become a member or su supporter or join the v whatever it's not that um i can't say why but i'm going to be talking i'll tell you what right now what it's going to be it's going to be about richard hughes all right we're going to be deep diving uh into him and, and who he is uh so you you're not missing anything all right if you really want to know quite a bit about him then maybe you would be but I don't think you really need to fucking know, to be honest with you. See, you see, I'm shit, really, aren't I? Do you know what I mean? I'm supposed to go, go you know, I've got something special for you tomorrow, guys. Make sure you... See. Do you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm honest with you, right? I'm honest with you. You're not, you're not going to miss a fucking thing. So when you see the preview tomorrow, don't go, oh, I wonder what that is. It's just going to be, you know, I'm going to be quoting a lot of stuff that if I was to do it in a video, you know, some like all of it, someone, you know, the, the, the publications and things might say you shouldn't be doing that. Do you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? So... Uh, I just don't want you to think that it's a ploy to do that. I just I like to be honest, and um, I do appreciate uh, you guys that support me, that leave comments, 
uh, and also, you know, thumbs up the videos because not everyone does. And you that do, you're a fucking, you're a big deal. I wish it told me you, everyone that, up, that thumbs up the video. Yeah, definitely. Should tell me that. I'd like that. Mm. Anyway, waffling. Gotta go. Uh, speak to you later. Have a great night, guys. Uh, take care. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks.